Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having an absolute magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Holy Toledo's. It's one thing after another with Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we have Premier Play being announced. The Arena Championship, $200,000 up for grabs every four months, which is absolutely doggone ridiculitos. So check that video out. We'll have it pinned in the comments for you if you haven't seen it yet. And if that wasn't enough, we have a brand new format within Magic the Gathering Arena, which is... Woof! You know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Let's go. Uh, Magic the Gathering Arena news and announcements for the streets of New Capenna. Talking about the mechanics, quality of life upgrades as well. The new format. Uh, recapping the Premier Play, uh, which was the competitive uh, video that I mentioned pinned in the comments below. Literally a ton to get through. That is all super exciting. So make sure to slam a thumbs up and let's take a look at the news and announcements. Ayo, let's try to get this uh, over with as coherently as possible. The arena state of the game for Streets of New Capenna, you know, the mechanics. If you haven't seen the spoiler videos, we've gone through each card uh, in depth kind of doing like a crafting guide, if you will. We also have a pre-release guide, which is super exciting. So if you're going in uh, to those pre-release events this week, you will be doing so uh, with an advantage if you've taken a look at that guide. Uh, again, we can have this video pinned for you in the comments below. But as a quick overcap of the mechanics, Hideaway, you know, something older that's brand new to Arena, you get to look at a number of cards off the top of your library, tuck it underneath, and when, when that hideaway uh, is triggered, you get to play that card for free, which is super exciting. Uh, threshold counters, um, you know, having a specific number of uh, permanents or creatures or cards in general, I suppose, in your graveyard is the example that we'll be using here, um, which will, you know, increase the uh, power or, you know, whatever it happens to be of uh, your other cards that utilize that mechanic, right? So, you know, if you have five or more uh, cards with different mana values in your graveyard, you know, the creature gets plus two, plus two, for example, uh, and there are many of those. Again, check out the spoiler video as we do go through those in depth for you all. Uh, Auto-tap interactions uh, with treasures, uh, triggering things with specific mana. You will want to make sure you do watch that auto-tapper uh, as it will auto-tap that treasure if it is to do so with a benefit with other of your permanents, uh, which is exciting. But maybe you don't want to have uh, one of your permanents uh, pop off through that treasure. Maybe you want to save the treasure for later for ramp. So this is why we just uh, are bringing notice to the auto tap interaction. So be careful. And if you don't float your mana, you can always manually tap uh, just by clicking them and it will use what you've manually tapped. Or you can go into your settings and turn in auto tap or off directly so you won't have to worry about that. And then it's always on you. You can purchase packs, um, you know, as many as you want at a time through gold, which is exciting. Uh, you know, get them packs, baby. Let's go. Um, dun, 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 dun. New format, right? That's kind of the next thing we want to talk about here. Uh, it will be called Explorer, a.k.a. Pioneer Light. Obviously, it's a lot to ask for all of the Pioneer cards at once. This allows us a jumping off point where they can begin to include, um, you know, cards for Pioneer or the uh, true to tabletop alternative format uh, within Arena because now with the digital only cards, uh, Alchemy coming out a lot, the historic it is not that. It is something totally different, right? So, you know, this is going to give those... Uh, you know, tabletop fans, a place to hang out within Arena, and I'm a massive fan of this. Uh, we'll be getting new cards for this, uh, you know, as we progress, which is super exciting. There's a metagame challenge coming out as well. It will have the same rank as your constructed, all right? So it's constructed and limited rank still, Pioneer, uh, Light, or Explorer, who will act under that uh, constructed rank, which is really cool. Um, you know, if a card is banned uh, or there's a problem because it's going to be a little bit different than the Pioneer meta, uh, they will not suspend or rebalance. They will strictly just ban it. And then you'll get those wild card replacements, which is nice. Um, their first focus is towards um, the Pioneer metagame, working on those cards first and then bringing in, you know, those older, less uh, relevant cards 
uh, just to fill things out, which is really nice. Um, so there's going to be a stream in oh, about an hour's time uh, from now, which is super exciting. We'll have a QA and a and they're going to talk more about uh, Explorer, which is super exciting. So uh, looking forward to a new uh, true to tabletop format as an alternative uh, to historic, right? Which is great. So now we have standard, we have Explorer, and then we will have historic with alchemy, uh, which is super exciting. So um, literally one of the coolest announcements that we've had in a while um, that we've been waiting for for a while. Your deck capacity gets increased from 75 to 100 as well, uh, which is fairly exciting. And then, uh, yeah, we've got Premiere Play on the way. The video that we made earlier talks about all of this. You know, you can do well in qualifier play-in, paying gems, paying gold, paying in new play-in points, which you can collect within... Uh, constructed and limited events if you do well in. Also, if you're in the top 1,200, you'll get a, quite a few of them, which is nice. More on this in that video pinned down below in the comments if you want in on that. And this is going to lead you into the, um, the monthly qualifiers, the Pro Tour, the um, Arena Championship, and the World Championship as well. Uh, so really cool stuff about that. And, you know, most certainly that $200,000 prize pool every four months is going to be gosh darn tasty. Like I'm already drooling, right? And then the change to the events, right? When New Capenna comes out, the events will change for their reward structure uh, to include the play points, which you want to collect so you can enter that event for free. Fun stuff, right? Uh, without paying the gold or gems, just through collecting the points by farming your collection organically through uh, the different events, all right? So the events are... More expensive for constructed, but the prize structure has been increased to make them more comparable to the limited events as, you know, it was much easier to farm your collection through the limited event than it was through the constructed events. That's been balanced. So the, uh, you know, limited events remain unchanged, um, but then the top end rewards have been tuned back a little bit to give you access uh, for these play in points instead, which is Coolio's deck dazzling uh improvements um for the cosmetics which is pretty cool um you know changing so you don't have to scroll the look of your deck that's fine you can now open all right between one and ten uh which is nice just go through your packs you don't have to do one at a time one at a time oh there's five. Oh, i missed it now i got to do one at a time uh, which isn't a bad thing vault progress you get to see all the time the same as you would your wild cards which is nice and then uh you know Capenna coming out for everyone on Arena April 28th. And then April 26th, we will have a pre-release event, uh, which is pretty cool. I'll be partaking in that, which is super exciting. So do not miss out. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all of you there. It actually is the same day as my three-year YouTube anniversary as well, which is like, what a day it will be. Holy Toledo. So we're going to have a bunch of like really cool things we're talking like uh reward structures kind of like a subathon where if we reach different tiers we'll you'll get different rewards uh you know like shaved beard shaved head like run five miles we can make up all kind of goofy things uh, to help uh motivate <laughs> some support right but most importantly we're going to be playing some sick magic with some new cards and i am so excited i've got over 20 decks made we are ready to rip Thank you guys all so much for taking the time to support the channel. I hope you have an absolute magical day. We'll see you soon in the next. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and become a YouTube member today.